Hi everyone. Hi there. Uh, you are on the Roman's Report channel, and here we talk about uh, management in IT. Today is our second meeting as a part of the IT PM from Zero to Offer program. Uh, yesterday we successfully formed a CIS group, and today we need to form an international group. The only difference is that uh, these boys and girls will look for an offer on the international market. So, as you already understood, today our meeting will be held in English, uh, and otherwise the rules are the same, the conditions are the same, Andrew Dashkevich will help me like just yesterday. I will briefly recall the key points, uh, and yep, at the beginning, five minutes of self-presentation of each of the candidates, next uh, will be a vote, each candidate will have five votes will, uh, and will choose five uh, teammates. Then uh, five candidates with the highest number of votes became, uh, become participants. And after that, Andrew and I will add uh, one candidate each of us. Um, yep, if everything, if everything clear, let's not delay and I propose to start. So guys, boys and girls, if you have any question, you can uh, raise hand and, and we will give you a, a microphone. Oh, okay, I think everything clear. So, and today we will start with Alexey. Alexey, just a second. Alexey, Alexey Baturin. Uh, Alexey probably the most active candidate in uh, in our chats uh, last few days and weeks. So it will be very interesting to to hear Alexey from himself. So yep, I will stop sharing the screen. Alexey, Alex I'm ready to go. Yep. Oh, give me a second, please. I will launch the. I will launch the timer. Yep. Yep. Raman, please bring Alexei to the front. Uh, I guess I will start talking and I will be at the front. Yep. Yep. I think, yep. So let's go. Five minutes yours. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alexey, I, and I want to become a good product manager. Today, I will uh, present myself. I am a PhD engineer and Bachelor of Quality Management. Initially, I was a design engineer of radar system. In this position, I learned how to uh, extract requirements uh, from the customer, different companies' interests, uh, and so on. I tried myself in science in image processing, but there were no opportunities for my uh, elaborations. So I graduated PhD and paused uh, my science work. I took a new opportunity and become an aerospace engineer. Uh, during my hire, I was given a big goal to set up uh, a work of department, optimize processes, write instructions, establish interaction uh, between uh, departments. I successfully completed uh, this task uh, and took many other challenging projects. Uh, for example, uh, all internal placards layout or on the Airbus uh, fleet were made under my leadership. Uh, next, I felt that I needed to implement my development needs. I went to seven, uh, S7 techniques at a lead engineer position. I managed aircraft delivery and re-delivery projects and lease agreements. So uh, uh, now let me back at time during my work in RC Airlines, I was involved in development of software which provides synchronization between booking software and aircraft maintenance software. There was an issue when top management uh, didn't know business processes and development team uh, couldn't get specifications from them. I showed initiative, solved communication problems, uh, headed control of releases and deadlines. I consulted dev team, worked with uh, their backlog. After a while, project was done. Suddenly, software company offered me outstaff junior project manager position. Uh, th uh, there, I learned a little bit, uh, a little about agile, Scrum, incremental waterfall, and V model. After a few projects, 
I left company as I had too much uh, workload in aviation. Uh, now, back to nowadays, I want to become a good product uh, project manager, create awesome products, deliver maximum values for customers. Why I am motivated? Firstly, I want to have a normal work, work and life balance. Secondly, uh, today IT is a big part of our life and I want to understand it from inside. Next, I want to feel uh, able to change cities, countries anytime I want and see the whole world. After all, uh, I want to have demanded profession uh, because I'm responsible for my family. As you know, aviation industry in Russia is collapsed. Uh, my position is not uh, in demand. I will be redundant for, uh, from a seven within a month, I believe. Even though I'm experienced specialist who I already worked uh, on a contract basis with a large leasing companies, I couldn't get offers in Europe and Russia. I do not want to go with the flow. Uh, I will take any opportunity to, be, uh, to become demanded specialist in management field. I spend all free time for reading PM literature and related subjects, study courses. I'm super motivated uh, and ready to learn fast, to work hard, and I show I will pass all challenges. So uh, if you want to know, my hobbies are music, motorcycles, and of course, of course, food. Every country I go, I taste practically every dish and every cuisine. So thank you and wish you good luck. Nice. That was really nice. So Alexey, I have several questions for you. So firstly, why project management? Oh, I understand that you want to get freedom into IT, but you are an engineer. Why are you looking for a position project manager, not a developer, for example, uh, as a technique position? Okay, if you look back a little bit, I'll show you. I'm also a, a, ba a bachelor degree uh, quality management, so I'm not new to management. Uh, then uh, it it was uh, in time it was so natural that I became ma manage some projects. Uh, so I think, whoa, the so nice people. There are so many agile things. Uh, so why why not? Uh, why don't I try it? So I decided I I should try it. That's all. Okay. Just a history. I got you. Thank you. Thank you, Alexei. That was really nice. Uh, cool start. So, yep, we are going next. Uh, and next today will be Yuri. Yuri, hello. Hello. I could start. Oh, yep. Share. yep. Mm, okay, one second. I will share also my presentation. Yep, mm. we see two slides. Two slides and how to change it. One second. Yep. And now it's okay. You see one slide. Yep. Yeah, okay. So hello team. My name is Yuri, and currently I'm an opposition a regional health and safety manager. And this is a short story about me. Initially, I'm planning to stop my career path, but due to Raman said that uh, let's try to focus on who we are and why we are, uh, I will not do it. And I want to start uh, why I'm here. Um, due to uh, last events which happened in Russia, between Russia and Ukraine, uh, a lot of many international manufacturing companies will stop business and my company uh, do the same. And due to I'm working in very I'll say narrow areas in international companies in various uh, small um, fields. So as Alexei, I also will become soon, uh, sorry, forgot the word, but uh, I will lose my job and soon I will be a free man. And that's why I start thinking what's next could be for me. And uh, I decided that it will, will be a project management. Uh, why? Because I'm already working with the project. I have a big experience in many international companies and in these companies, I lead the projects. I already a manager, I managed a team. I, in many companies, I have a, my own department right now. I'm in a matrix, matrix structure company and I have a 
uh, I managed other managers in uh, our uh, factories and I need just improve my uh, IT skills. And why ITPM? Because I want, first of all, continue work with uh, international companies. I don't want to go uh, in some Russian companies. And uh, this is a possibility to relocate for me and for my family um, outside uh, from Russia. And also IT is very close to me. Right now uh, in my current company, I'm a part of our Scrum team where try to digitalize our health and safety activities and add it to this subsystem and I work in, in currently partly like as a product owner slash um, uh, QA. Yeah. Um, and right now, as I already said, I try to improve my IT skills. And for the last two months, I, I finished several courses, uh, online courses. Uh, also, right now, I try to finish uh, Google uh, IT project management. And uh, I'm working on an agile part right now. Also, I think all my free time right now, i watching a video on YouTube. I think I know almost all YouTube channels in Russia about project management in IT. Um, yeah, and also I had a personal consultation with uh, Raman already, and he said that I will be a good project manager, and I believe to Raman. And also, um, yeah, and next uh, I want to stop uh, also about my personal life things. Uh, due to my life, I had a lot of hobbies, uh, like uh, I cooked a beer, I was a professional photographer, I made a wooden furniture, I was a DJ in St. Petersburg, I was an automobile journalist and working with uh, uh, many automobile magazines in Russia. But now, but it was only hobbies for me and I will stop and I, right now I just running and uh, I think it was also my one of the big projects in my life, uh, but a couple of years ago, I finished a marathon. This is shortly from my side, and as usual, when uh, call when your part on the call is ending, questions, comments, colleagues. Okay, thank you, Saint Yuri. Yep, uh, actually, we will have a we had a personal consultation in yep. I think Yuri have a really good uh, chances and opportunities to be a good project manager. But uh, I'll ask you about your previous experience in Toyota. Uh, as we men as you mentioned previously, it's really extremely interesting point because uh, everybody in IT now about knew about uh, Kanban and about lean management. So give us some. Uh, um, special information about how it works in uh, Toyota management system in real. Uh, I thought about it and it really could compare how uh, soft uh, life development life cycle, how it's happened in IT tool. And maybe I have idea, maybe Raman, it's based on your opinion. Uh, I could make a short presentation for the group because it's really interesting how to create automobile and how it's tracking based on Kanban system, uh, all life life uh, cycle or life study points of automobile from the welding painting uh, and quality line it's really interesting and in how this process uh, help uh, control in, in, at the automobile plant i think it will be interesting yep i think too so yep I maybe our next uh, online activities will be a meeting meet up with yuri uh, he will mm -hmm. share with us his experience using Kanban method in real uh, plant factory uh, flow. So thank you, Yuri. Mm -hmm. And yep, we're next. And next will be Alek. Oleg. Oleg, hello. Are you here? Hello. hello. I don't have any presentation. I'm going to present it about myself by my own. Okay, give me a second. I will share my screen and I will show you card. Uh -huh. So, hello, my name is Oleg. I'm 29 years old and I'm living in Kiev. Uh, during the last 18 years, I've been working in the biggest furniture company in Ukraine. I started as a regular sales manager after several professional activities that increased sales results. I caught opportunity and became a chief of front office and sales department. <clears throat> My team was 11 sales managers and five logistics centers. 
uh, every sale contract for me is like a project because one time sale is not interesting for future business relationships with the client. It's always interesting to, uh, for me to find out what the uh, client really wants, what is hidden from the first sight. Uh, in the length of time, the business area became less dynamic. After reading a book uh, written by Tim Ferriss about time management, I found the way uh, to optimize my timetable uh, to make some time free for professional uh, development. So I got many additional education such as psychology, photography, motorcycle, learned some languages like English, French, and Polish. I became president of National Motorcycle Club and rode around whole Europe. During the trip, I found a lot of friends from all European countries. After this, I decided to make professional switch into IT area uh, because it's dynamic and fast growing. I got front-end uh, development education, but unfortunately, it was a period of age between ECMOS 5 and 6. I didn't get a job fast, and without any IT, IT community around me, I also couldn't get it later. Uh, friends of mine advised me to become project manager. I, I didn't know anything about it, so I learned it from zero. I read PM book. I, I went to PM school named IMPM. Uh, we created the project and uh, made some high level steps such as canvas, mind map, uh, rock breakdown, breakdown structure, gun chart, roadmap, user story, risk list, etc. Also created Jira project and presentation uh, of it with terms, budget, scope, teams, uh, team, and risks. The uh, whole program was very interesting because many soft skills we, uh, were the same that I already have and use uh, in uh, my current position. Also have some technical background after my front-end and, uh, and education. Uh, I finished courses just before the war. Unfortunately, the war made some changes in regular life and I didn't have enough time to find my offer. In this program, I want to uh, become relevant uh, for this position. After my interviews, I didn't have enough information in uh, feedbacks or didn't get feedback at all. So in summary, I'm highly motivated and uh, ready to face up this challenge. That's all. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Oleg. So, um, um, as we mentioned previously, you have a good experience in B2B and sales. So my question is why project management? Yeah. Why you, you, know, you, know, you can enter in IT, not on the project management position. It can be, for example, business development manager. So answer, please. Uh, management, because uh, management now is my current Area where I uh, have good skills, and when I uh, throw into this cell uh, canvas and other methodologies, I found uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, <clears throat> colors of that uh, community that uh, very fit to me, and I think I uh, can uh, get it. I can uh, do it in the right way. Okay, okay. So, so uh, let me ask you one, 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 one question. What do you like more, uh, sales uh, management or project management? So you have a good experience in sales and you knew a little about uh, uh, project management. So what will be more interesting for you? Uh, I think project management because uh, sales, uh, as I said, uh, the each contract for me is like a project uh, because each client wants to get some product with some services and that's not the uh, whole thing that he wants because uh, in uh, many ways I can offer him uh, uh, something else and that will be better than he wants uh, at the start. So uh, not only sales, but in sale position, I'm not doing just sale, just sale option. I'm always okay. looking for uh, best opportunity to give him more. And uh, yeah. that's why I think the uh, project management, management will, will be able for me. Okay, I got you. Thank you, thank you, Alec. Uh, it was nice.
Nice. So, so we are going next, and next we will listen to Ismail. Ismail, hello. Hello. Yep. Tell me, please. You will be share a screen. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Tell me whether you can see. Uh, unfortunately, no. We see your presentation, but we don't see your picture of, of your video. Uh, maybe it's because I'm on the uh, different devices, uh, because I'm on my phone and on uh, the presentation is running from the, my PC, maybe because okay. of... Okay, no, don't worry, it, it's okay. So, yeah, I launch the timer. Uh, okay, uh, hello colleagues, uh, I am Ismail Nizeski and I am the future project manager. Uh, a little bit about me, I was uh, born in uh, Berdichu. This is uh, uh, the medium-sized city in the northwestern Ukraine. Berdichu is the city also called as uh, Jerusalem, uh, Volin Jerusalem uh, and city of four cultures. Uh, Berdichu is situated in Zhytomyr Oblast, approximately 180 kilometers from uh, Kiev. At school, I was fond of math and English. I also studied Polish and German. Uh, in my free time, I played football with my colleagues. Uh, I'll matter uh, something, a uh, bit information about my studies. At the age of 16, I enrolled at the Faculty of Economic and Sociology at the University of Łódź. It's uh, not as early as Jean Temir from the CIS uh, uh, group, but I think it's also a good result because it's the, the other country, the other language, and it it became more complicated and it was the opportunity to lead my first major uh, project uh, a relocation i studied uh, logistic and supply chain management with a focus uh, on the cross-border logistic only uh, 30 out of uh, 210 students uh, graduated uh, the second, uh, after, after getting a degree in uh, uh, bachelor degree in logistic and supply chain management at the age of 19, I went on my uh, uh, master degree studies, uh, but this time uh, is for uh, management for, for in management management degree focused on the human uh, human resource management. I'm currently studying uh, by part time and uh, working uh, fully. Uh, Coincidentally, uh, as Roman program starts at the end of my university session, I will want to take the chance and take a part in a project that will help me both with my studies and my future job offer. A bit, my, a bit of my career path. When I was uh, 16, I'm in a semi-legal way, as I can say, I got the job in a, a, product, a Procter Gamble factory. I was working as... Um, uh, as product production associate, I'm helping this production manually, uh, manually, uh, uh, manually uh, putting the razors on the conveyor, conveyor belt. And uh, the, 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 on the advantage of the job, I can say this uh, flexibility that I can combine uh, with my uh, studies. And then in the beginning of 2020, when the coronavirus came to us from China, a remote study was, what was implemented. And we can uh, combine uh, work and uh, studies more freely. And uh, at this time, I found my first uh, serious job in a small logistic company in Ternopoli, Ukraine. And uh, from April 2020 to September uh, 2020, I work as a logistic assistant in uh, agri-invest logistic. And then after this, I, I, we came back to university and I had to write down my thesis and I had no time to, to get any practical experience. So I had this a bit a pause. Then I got my first experience in the major company uh, last June uh, when I was hired in the freight transport logistic, logistics. Uh, it's a big uh, Scandinavian company dealing with road, water and train uh, transport. I was uh, the part of the team of five people uh, helping to lead a group of uh, around 15 drivers, coordinating the loading and unloading operation in Norway, Sweden, and domestic Poland. 
after my traineeship ended, I realized that a logistic it's not not for me and decided to not uh, extend my contract. Then I found uh, found the, a job in within uh, Philips, uh, thereby moving to the uh, healthcare industry. Working as a resource planner, I am managing uh, the uh, group up to 15 uh, field service engineers of the different modalities. I was promo as a as a result of my achievements, I was promoted in eight months of uh, my uh, of my job experience. And now, uh, in the addition to the previous mentioned uh, process, I am managing the uh, SIP in install base. And uh, about a bit my uh, project management skills. I became interested in project management at the beginning of this spring, and at the same time I came. Uh, I came across the Romance channel on YouTube, where I given the uh, direction to develop. In my leisure time, I also take in uh, courses on Coursera portal, uh, as uh, Roman suggested it in uh, our Telegram channel. And also, I told about my desire to become a project manager to my direct manager at work, and uh, 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 he helps me to to. To develop this way, he I've got more responsibilities. I've started to uh, attend in the meeting with the higher management, and uh, uh, I receive new obligations such as uh, forming reports and prioritizing work. Uh, and uh, I also have uh, uh, enrolled to the I I internal management program. And a bit my hobbies: uh, I'm playing chess, I'm interested in geopolitics, I'm playing computer games, and I uh, love listening to music. Yep, uh, <laughs> the time is over. So just one question, uh, Ismail. So it's very nice that you share your experience and uh, your good education. But I have a question. What's wrong with uh, logistics and uh, supply chain management? You have already finished uh, this university and decided that it's not yours. What's, what's wrong? I, I think there's uh, a lot of stress in logistics and no, there's things, nothing is depends on you, but depends on the drivers, on the on the, uh, the the clients and some other things. And you can manage it because you don't have your team with you and you need to call the driver at, for example, at 4 a.m. to ask if he uh, woke up and if he, uh, he heading to the uh, uh, loading and some other stuff. I think the project management is uh, such more, um, I can say, more flexible, and uh, you do need uh, to manage the things this way as in logistics. You know, that can be tricky because uh, <laughs> uh, my experience show me that the uh, project management position is really stressful position, and yep, that's everything depends on your team, uh, geographically uh, distributed team and sometimes uh, I have I had this experience when I need to wake up at 4 uh, to hold a meeting and 4 a.m. I mean, I mean yep. so yeah it's a uh, real tricky and actually I don't know what profession can be more stressful than IT project management but okay that's your you work choice. Just... <laughs> yeah I have I had some experience in logistics too in optimization and big warehouses so yep I understand you too okay thank you Ismail we are going next and next we will listen to Roman Roman hello yes hello hello uh Roman are you hear me, are you hear me? Uh, yep I, I hear you and see you uh, will you share a screen? Or... Yes, I, I need a sharing. Yes, yes. Okay. First of all, hello, everybody. I'm nice to see you all. Uh, hello, Roman. We have a lot of equal letters in our names and surnames, approximately the same. <laughs> only, <laughs> only, only endings is uh, different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, it's, it's very I know it is that too. So yep, you have a good chances to be a good project manager. Yeah, but, but, but <laughs> when when I suddenly uh, look at Telegram, uh, uh, suddenly I uh, find myself that I write to to myself, and then I I, I look and Roman Drew, but not my, it's, it's not me. <laughs> 
Okay. That is. So, I'm share ready. your screen, please. Yes, I am ready to start. Oh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, I try to be uh, not long, not to be very boring. Uh, I try to explain why I'm here from the philosophical position, from the philosophical point of view. Uh, all our life is a project, uh, my opinion. Um, uh, I have a big experience, uh, business experience in Belarus. Um, I was a co-founder of a um, technological company. Technological company. We uh, make a lot of uh, huge projects in Belarus in uh, energy industry, in oil, petrol, and uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, from this business, I have a huge communication experience, uh, and for me, it really was not. Uh, absolutely important not not, not important uh, to speak with anybody with any position in any country because i have uh, i don't know maybe thousands of meetings uh, exhibitions and etc from different people from different country from any position from sale to driver um, for me is uh, respecting of um, uh, the respecting uh, relationship in uh, company is the most important uh, and uh, <clears throat> colleagues it's approximately the friends it must be like this uh, i have no relevant it experience for now because when i finished my course in jig brains mail uh, i find um, offer from uh, telegram channel of roman and uh, youtube channel of roman and uh, stop to start uh, <clears throat> sending the my cv because i wanted to to start uh, immediately in May, but I um, took a decision to um, to wait a little bit. Uh, my career, uh, I don't want to speak about my childhood and my university. It's not interesting. Maybe later in uh, closer companies uh, we will uh, discuss it. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I, uh, as I, as, as I told before, we make a big, uh, huge pump project for civil uh, industries and for enterprises. Uh, it, we made it on, on approximately 15 last years with my team. Um, <clears throat> Uh, as I said before, for me is um, the, com the, the company spirit is a team. Team is the first uh, item uh, that I uh, I think any manager must uh, collect. And the member of each uh, the member of team, each person is uh, absolutely important because no team, no result. It's um, it's under my um, uh, experience. I can sign all, but under all uh, words. Uh, uh, this year, I had to relocate with my family from uh, Belarus to Poland. Uh, it was a quest uh, because the quest began. Uh, uh, three years ago, first of all, I uh, need to find a job for, for my wife in Polish embassy to collect uh, the Polish heart um, uh, as, as faster as, uh, <clears throat> as possible. Uh, and then step by step, we will go to Poland uh, and um, <clears throat> Uh, like Roman said before, um, if we need to describe any project, I can you know, describe this project because it's very interesting. Each step of this is very important, very, very interesting. It's uh, absolutely not um, uh, 
not, not have any difference with a um, huge project in um, IT. <laughs> uh, uh, for now, I am in Poland. Uh, I have three children, but uh, I, I have no my private uh, house. I, we have a new, absolutely new uh, schools here. I want to find a job as a project manager, uh, and the uh, uh, European community gives us a little bit uh, more opportunities in Belarus. Okay, uh, and um, in free time, I am a volunteer uh, here in Krakow. Uh, in the each case of uh, volunteering here is uh, like a small project, and the, in, in your mind must be your private Kanban dashboard with um, commendation, bill connection, transport, and uh, etc. With uh, any refugees, uh, can we can we uh, good help? Yeah. And um, Channel is my the best project. Um, now in Prakov, we are learning Polish, walking 15 steps per day together, starting playing squash, um, participate in social life in the Russian diaspora. And um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Roman. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, um, I have a question. So, yep, you have a good experience uh, as a businessman, as an owner of uh, your company. So why are you, maybe you have to try open your own company here in Poland. Why you try to go to as an employee and as a project manager? Um, as to my business, it's a uh, business connection in uh, private links. Uh, uh, to today in Poland, uh, I have no language uh, and uh, maybe in future, but not. Uh, I am tired from this business. It's, uh, I built it approximately 15 years. And if I started here in Poland, that will be a uh, very long time to to make a connection to make a distribution the logistic uh, chains and etc etc that's why not uh, before i my my relocation here in poland uh, i decided to change all all that's all uh, profession occupation uh, schools everything that's why I am here, and I hope that uh, I will get a real job with your help, uh, or without your help. <laughs> but in any case, thank you for this opportunity, uh, and thank you all guys who is who who are together with me here. Okay, thank you, Roman. Good luck. Uh, I sure everything will be fine. So, yep, uh, and. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, Ismail will help you with logistic chains it, if it will be necessary with your <laughs> new business. Uh, yeah, uh, going next. Um, going next. Uh, uh, and our first girl uh, today, uh, Aksana. Hello. Uh, hello, everyone. It's really nice to see you all here, not in chats, in private. Yep. Uh, so Aksana, I, uh, uh, I suppose you need to open screen? my... No. Okay. No. So I will share mine. Mm -hmm. And, yep, uh, five minutes yours. Okay. And first of all, I want to thank Roman for this amazing initiative and the chance to take part in this promising program. And thanks to Andre uh, for his time, efforts, and help. I think you guys really all appreciate that. Uh, my name is Aksana Shambetske, and my today's subject is why I have applied for this um, program and why I think that among all these talented individuals, I'm the right person to choose. I will give an insight into my background and personality. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask after. Uh, in 2019, I graduated from the Belarusian State Economic University from the Faculty of International Business. I started off my career with more, more than three and a half years ago as a technical support manager in a marketing and sales company. I was obliged to communicate with clients and uh, solve all sorts of 
problems from technical to interpersonal. And that position, I gained um, the important knowledge of being a creative problem solver. After two months, I was promoted to a higher position, a new one, as a head of compliance uh, office. And um, due to my mm, concentration and ability to react fast, um, I automated document verification process and um, ensured that all duties were done in line with the law. And also, uh, at that time, I learned the importance of keeping the documents updated, organized, and structured, and the importance of being super disciplined at work. As I managed to, try, uh, to build trust with uh, colleagues and my founder of the business, I was promoted to the position of managing director. And actually, it was a challenge for me because I didn't have any um, relevant experience for the position. And um, however, I pulled myself together and I started to gain knowledge from scratch and uh, to prove myself that I can do that. So actually, it was a strong motivation for me. I did lots of things on my previous position. I mean, like HR, accountancy, including um, government reports, uh, finance, finance management, office management, team management, literally a lot, lot of things which I needed to learn even at NICE to succeed at that position. Um, what I learned is um, that the teamwork is really important. I uh, gained the skill to build effective communication processes, uh, um, resolve conflicts, and to value each team member um, as an individual. Also, I learned how to work um, under pressure, tension, and limited time. Outside of work, I have numerous interests and hobbies also. Um, to keep myself mentally and physically fit, I do uh, sports like gym and in general, I love an active lifestyle, like hiking, um, playing basketball, having long walks with my friends. Um, and something that you will never guess about me is that I really love to wake up early in the morning, like 5 a.m. to feel that productive morning atmosphere. Um, besides that, I like just to relax, enjoy reading, and of course, spending time with my family. In addition, I do love cars, fast cars, and uh, you know the atmosphere of driving while driving and listening to uh, my favorite uh, music. Uh, the reasons why I have applied for uh, this position is actually this is a very good chance to structure the information I already have. Uh, under the guidance of a mentor in more and more valuable information because I understand that I'm missing lots of information still. Um, I believe that a project, manage project management is something I'm passionate about and um, that I will get lots of job satisfaction in this role. Also, I want to work in the environment, highly motivated for results and uh, development. And of course, I'm highly motivated also to get an offer because it's like sounds like a, like a challenge for me right now. Um, like I worked a lot, but I couldn't consider myself as a high level specialist in um, any um, mentioned above fields. So I started to think where I can put all my skills and consistency to, and I chose project management um, as work really plays a huge part in my life like the decision uh, to go into project management is a, was a really a conscious one. Um, so right now I'm still managing the company, but like working much less. I already told my employer that actually I'm going to switch my profession. Um, like I took Belhart, uh, I, I took co courses in Belhart Academy. And right now I'm gaining certificates from Google. And um, besides that, I'm actually reading lots of literature on management and just project management. And of course, uh, taking info from such valuable channels as Romans, because, and I'm really sincere, sincerely thankful to Roman for sharing all this info for such people as we who start our career path in project management. And why I think I'm a good candidate for this program is that I'm confident that I can wisely use the provided information, um, get an offer, and bring success to the program and really show people that um, you really open doors to IT and provide valuable materials. I'm a fast learner and I catch information really, really fast. And um, also I understand uh, that I need to take the responsibility for my continuous learning under your guidance. Um, so actually that's all. Uh, thanks for listening. Um, and thanks once again, Roman, for the chance 
to present okay. myself. Yep. Thank you, Oksana. You sound really good. Um, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, tell me, please. So, uh, okay, you have a really successful career, career path and uh, held the direction position. So why you decided to change uh, your profession and uh, became an IT project manager? Because um, I decided to change my profession. Uh, first of all, because as I told, um, many things at my previous job. And of course I could change the company, switch the company and do the same things. But actually I feel something that I already um, know and I want to grow as a specialist in, you know, in one special field. And I couldn't consider myself as a high level specialist, but right now I'm aiming to go into project management and become really good at project management. So that's actually why I decided to uh, switch profession. Yeah, of course, it was a good profession, good career path, but I already reached the top at that company and actually decided to open new doors for me. And actually learning is something that I really like. Um, I really enjoy, um, I don't know how to say it, it sounds like, um, like easy, but I really like learning, reading, and um, making for me like small steps and uh, achieving goals. So that's what I like. Why I want to become a project manager. It's like a challenge right now, as I told. I really, I and I will become project manager. There is no chance that I will not. Okay, that sounds very motivating. <laughs> so okay, let's see. I'm sure that everything will be like you mentioned, but uh, okay. yeah. Uh, but uh, Thank you. you have to be ready that it's a really long pass, a uh, really long way. And yeah, uh, nowadays it's not too easy to switch the profession and uh, you know, uh, enter to IT. But of course, uh, the most motivated people will achieve the same 100%. Actually, that makes this goal more attractive, you know, like it like much like attractive, you know, that, you know, long pass challenges. So that makes it beautiful yeah makes sense yeah <laughs> okay thank you Oksana thank you so much thank you thank you okay and we are going next uh Kate are you here I'm here I hope you hear me well yeah is okay. it okay yeah yeah everything's fine uh, uh I need to share my screen presentation yeah i will stop sharing so let's try thank you okay let me go um hello again uh, uh let's introduce myself my name is Kate, Katerina, like you want to, and I'm candidate to ATPM from zero to offer international. Uh, so a few words about me, I'm 22 years. I was born in Gomel, Belarus. Uh, I live for five years in Minsk, but now I'm in, in Turkey. And uh, also I can say hello in Turkish, <laughs> uh, my English is uh, B1, B2. And uh, let's continue, tell a few words about my way. Uh, in 2017, I finished school and then I entered the uh, Belarusian State University of Informatics and Radio Electronics. And my specialty is multimedia information distribution systems. After that, um, uh, in, uh, from 2019 to 2020, I had courses in internships in HSphere. And in May 2020, I got my first job offer and it is my current work. My IT3 was started when I was in the third course uh, of the university. I tried myself uh, in different branches, uh, layout, QA manual, and automation. And when I was uh, in, in the internships and courses, I met a profession as a project manager. I asked my curator who was a PM. He told me that in order to work as a project manager, you first need to work just inside the project in order to understand how everything works. I started to learn information about this uh, on the internet, finished one course in Coursera and continue to develop myself in QA manual sphere. Now I'm working like project manager in a little IT company uh, and I work with small teams and uh, I have these projects less than uh, 10 persons in my team. 
uh, when I came to work, I was a manual tester at first, but uh, then I told my employers that they want to be a project manager and uh, they put me into practice on a real project. And But uh, I understand uh, I want something more uh, and uh, which my company can give me uh, when I ask uh, for exam. Uh, so uh, why I decided to join your course, I feel lack of knowledge in every step of safe, uh, software development life cycle. I think if I want to change my job, I need to know more. And I can't know more in my company because, uh, and I have two years experience of project manager, but when I read your discussions in the chat, I feel myself some stupid. Uh, and uh, I understand that I want to develop myself and I don't know what to do next. And that's why I'm here. Uh, I tried to study in something. I found your interviews Roman on YouTube, and then uh, I, I got into the chat on the Telegram. And reason to take me to this course. Uh, tell you something about my qualities. I think that the qualities of a person mean a huge role in career. I'm communicative and self-motivated, active and stress resistant, uh, and I want to understand all. Uh, if you if I try to learn something new, I ask a lot of questions about it uh, because uh, I want to understand all. I think it will help to other to get more information from uh, from the course. Uh, also, I have organizational skills. Uh, it helps me to assemble our whole team together and make all processes better. Ready to study hard, and I know. In practice, it in order to achieve something, you need to work uh, and uh, at first a lot. What about English? I think that I have not but English. How to say my friend interpreter? I have B2, but I need to learn uh, more new words. But not enough for working with international team, and I don't have a lot of practice for a long time because of uh, these projects. It will be a little hard for me, but I like hard tasks and solve them. And I think uh, the best way to improve English is a practice. Uh, I can get it here. That's why I choose international direction in order to improve my English and uh, work uh, in a foreign company in the future. My hope is cryptocurrencies. I know her words like, um, uh, uh, like altcoins, like uh, launch pads and other. As a word, I like drums and dancing. I like to attend the conference and the events where I can listen to useful information and meet to different people because I think that the community is um, uh, have a, a huge role in our life. And also, I like to travel around around the world. Thanks for your attention, Roman, and they thanks for your opportunity to participate uh, in this event. It's very cool and interesting for everyone who wants to. Uh, join to AT or change the job. And Roman, thanks for your YouTube sharing of your uh, all interviews. I think I'm good candidate. Thanks for your attention. Yep, exactly in time. Yep. Uh, thank you, Kate. So I don't mean to be rude, but it looks like girls definitely have better English skills than, <laughs> than men's. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, okay, uh, one question for you, Kate. So you are already a project manager. And tell, tell us, please, how it is for you. I like it. Uh, so it is, it is very interesting for me. Uh, I try different branches of it is here, but... Uh, when I tried to be like project manager, it uh, was uh, very interesting and I decided to improve myself in this sphere. But you need to be stress resistant and need to be uh, understanding to your, uh, to your team. Yeah, Turkish internet, not so good as Russian, Belarusian. Sorry, and... I'm here. Can you hear me? Yep, yep, you're, you're back. Sorry, there is a bad internet connection in Turkey. Okay, send you Kate. Uh, so, uh, hear me now? <laughs> yep, thank you, Kate. We are moving next. Uh, we will have uh, more opportunity to talk uh, later. Okay.
Okay. Who will be next? And next will be Konstantin. Konstantin. Can you hear me? Yep. We are here and see okay. you. Uh, okay. Will you share the screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do it, please. Oh. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Konstantin. Uh, I'm 35 years old. I'm from Minsk, Belarus. Uh, now I work uh, in a big private alcohol company. We promote the culture of drinking uh, for people. Uh, we make people lives happier and more interesting. Uh, some words about me. Uh, I have nine, nine years management experience, uh, experience in managing uh, a team of up to 22 people. Uh, twice uh, had the experience of implementing a mobile application to optimize uh, and uh, control uh, the workflow. Um, now my functions are control, coordination, analytics, budgeting, planning, training, and interviewing uh, new candidates. Uh, what is important for me? Uh, bring tangible results, be proactive, uh, my team, of course, uh, do tasks well and on time, achieve the goal, use priority correctly. Uh, what I appreciate in people and uh, what uh, repels me? I appreciate um, uh, diligence, responsibility, initiative, self dependence. Uh, use priority correctly and, of course, teamwork. Uh, what I rebuilt, uh, rebuilt it's cheating on. It's uh, only stressful for me. Uh, what I'm interested in and to, uh, and not. Uh, interested in uh, perform uh, complex tasks, upgrade my skills, learn something new, multitasking, teamwork, training and professional development of my team, uh, solve tasks independently according to their priority, that are not interested in uh, some type and routine tasks. Uh, while performing a task, I don't know the end goal. Uh, what annoys me when tasks are not on smart, uh, when boss don't know what result he wants, uh, wasting time on useless tasks that don't bring any profit. Uh, my soft skills uh, are emotion management, uh, time management, sociability, leadership, uh, proactivity, ability to think outside the box and generation ideas, and of course, empathy. Uh, Uh, at the end of 2021, uh, I knew about this job uh, uh, project manager uh, and I decided to come to courses. Uh, and uh, at the end, uh, in December of 2021, I uh, completed these courses, uh, tried to find a job till February 2024, uh, 2022, sorry, and um, uh, happened it happened and um, it's very difficult to find a job, especially for June. Uh, nowadays, I pump my skills for working with PM tools, uh, great my English. Um, it's not uh, very well, but I try to upgrade it. Um, I'm looking for opportunities to take more courses uh, and free or not free. Uh, uh, read materials about this work, uh, YouTube, of course, uh, your channel, Roman, especially where it help me. Um, and uh, our community is very useful for me. So many great professionals in one place. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, why ATPM? Uh, ATPM give opportunity to work with different areas uh, teamwork, multitasking, 
participate in the development of useful necessary projects that, our, that makes our life easier and the ability to work from anywhere in the world. Why me, uh, I desire to develop a big motivation and positive thinking. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn and I'm uh, ready to speak uh, everywhere. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you, Konstantin. Uh, it was extremely clear. Uh, your presentation was good. Um, th that gives me opportunity, you know, to structurize all information and... Sorry, a second, one second. Yep. Uh, but okay, so tell me please, uh, how, what do you think? So mm, what's the main reason that... Uh, mm, not maybe what's the main reason. What's the main border uh, before you and uh, Roman, excuse me one second please i can't um ah sorry oh okay that's fine so yep i will repeat so yeah uh, tell me please uh what do you think so what's the main border between you and your no new profession i think it's uh, only uh only time, maybe <laughs> time uh, for uh, um, education uh, for new skills, uh, because I don't know. Uh, no, uh, as a, as a beginning of my way, I don't know anything about this uh, work. I don't know anything about this uh, tools. Uh, what project management do. Uh, and when I went to the courses, I understand it's uh, this thing I need to, uh, this thing, this work I need, and I uh, want to work in this, uh, in this, uh, in this <laughs> sorry, I'm nervous, sorry. Uh, Don't worry, it's fine. So yeah. just stay calm, it's, it's, it's normal. We are all yeah. here, not a native speaker, so yeah, don't worry. Um, and I want to uh, try, and uh, this uh, for me a very good uh, um, chance to take a part and uh, uh, to get uh, a job. Okay, thank you, Konstantin. Thank, thank you for your you. presentation. Yep. Your presentation was really good. Thank you. Okay, going next. Uh, Artyom. Yes. Artyom, hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, I will show my presentation. Okay. Oh, it's nice. Thank you. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, first of all, uh, I want to thank Roman uh, for organizing uh, this project and uh, his assistant, and Andre. Uh, what Roman does uh, is a great uh, course. Uh, I think uh, that really good future project managers uh, can grow up under Roman leadership. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous because it's my first time introducing uh, myself in English. Uh, so let's get down to business. Um, my name is Artyom and I have a big goal uh, to get into IT. I'm from Belarus, Minsk, and I'm uh, 29 years old. Uh, in school, uh, I was in sport class in swimming. I graduated from the University Faculty of Economics and Management. Uh, I worked uh, as economics manager for more than six years and uh, then had a small company for sale and installation air conditioners and ventilation systems. Uh, by the way, if you want to buy a conditioner in Minsk uh, on a good price, uh, you are welcome. Uh, now about, about my skills, soft skills. 
uh, I have communication skills and uh, can deal with difficult situation because I know that uh, every problem can be solved. Uh, I'm easygoing person uh, that works well with everyone. Uh, I'm a disciplined person and uh, in my opinion, uh, discipline is extremely important in any business. Um, I am a quick learner and uh, can adapt uh, well to change. Uh, my uh, close friends think that I am a hardworking, responsible and relatable uh, person. Uh, why did I decide to become a project manager? Um, I have thought about this profession many times, but today uh, I have much more motivation and time uh, because in the current moment I don't have a job. Uh, in the future, the IT sphere will grow and uh, develop even more. Uh, so uh, there will always be a demand uh, for good um, qualified uh, specialist, uh, one of which I plan to become. Uh, I want to always uh, be on the move and achieve professional and financial uh, heights. Uh, also, I set a goal for myself to improve my English level and find a job as an assistant project manager within five months. I think this uh, professional suits me well. Um, how can the um, how can the program uh, help me? I have uh, no experience as project manager in IT, but uh, I have experience working in a team. I have experience in creating my own small business. I uh, like to travel by car and always planning my trips. Mm, I know one thing. I will always find a way out of uh, any situation. Uh, and I believe uh, that under Roman's uh, gui uh, guidance, I will be able to achieve good results and get uh, closer to my goal. Mm, now about my, <clears throat> now by the current situation. I've been in Poland uh, for four months now. Uh, I came here in a program, Poland Business Harbor. Uh, moving to Poland was a kind of uh, test for me because I have previously traveled uh, to other countries only as a tourist. Uh, I'm studying uh, project uh, management with, uh, uh, with the help uh, of Red Camps courses and romance videos. And I'm also learning English. Mm. In my free time, I play guitar, um, like outdoor activities, uh, and uh, learning something new. I choose a group in English because I want to improve my English level and overcome, to, and overcome the language barrier. Uh, under stressful conditions, I can achieve this very quickly and soon begin to speak English uh, fluently and uh, be like a fish in uh, water. Uh, many companies have moved from uh, Belarus to Poland, and I want to get a job in one of them. Mm -hmm. In uh, conclusion, I want to say that I will be very happy uh, to become part of this uh, of the team and develop together with its members. Uh, thanks everyone for listening. Uh, that's it. So that's all. Yep. I'm a little shocked, um, ah, okay. <laughs> as I saw uh, the, the guys in, in the chat uh, and, and girls too. So that was extremely uh, creative presentation. And uh, I saw a really uh, good preparation for this uh, meeting yes. and solution. So, yep. Uh, my personal respect for you for such kind of preparation so yep uh, i don't know what i <laughs> uh, i don't i don't have any words uh, you know to, to ask you so thank you artyom that was really nice and uh, i once again uh, have to mark your creativity that's very good it's very good for your future profession of course so thank yep. you very much <laughs> uh okay okay uh yep and candidate number 10 nikita nikita yeah hello everyone i don't need to share a screen yep yeah i will share myself 
Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm happy to share with all of you my story. And uh, yeah, thanks again um, to Roman and Andre for organizing this program. Yeah, well, uh, my career started with a small drama. I uh, graduated from uh, Belarusian Na National Technical University with uh, specialization in civil engineering on uh, the strong advice of my parents. Yeah, as far as my parents are working in a building company, they wanted me to work in building company too. Uh, yeah, but I didn't want to. Uh, in my final years um, at TUMI, I opened uh, my own business to earn some money. It was an Apple service center. So I launched it uh, from scratch and uh, eventually was leading and coaching a team of six people. Yeah, and uh, I had more, uh, more than 5,000 customers during, uh, during four years of the center operation. Yeah, and uh, it was really a successful business. But uh, after studying, I had to go to work for a building company because my education was free. Yeah, I uh, delegated uh, most of my responsibilities in the service center to my deputy director. And uh, I started working in a building company in Minsk uh, as uh, assistant construction project manager. Yeah, but uh, after a few months, I was promoted to construction project manager and um, eventually I, organize, I was organizing and planning construction work with them and leading more than 55 people. Yeah, and during this time when I worked um, uh, in building company and managing my business, I realized that I'm good at uh, communication and problem sol solving. And uh, that is what, uh, excuse me, what's the sound? Yeah, and that's what uh, keep, keeps me interested in the job. Yeah, and uh, that I really love um, working with people and coaching them. Yeah, but unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to finish um, the project on my own in building company. Yeah, because I had to urgently move uh, from Belarus due to political reasons. Uh, and after moving, I transferred my duties to another person in building company and sold my business for, for penny due to some reasons as well. So, and um, I have started a new life in Krakow in Poland. And after a few months of uh, uh, like creative vacation in Poland, uh, I decided to finally change fields in IT. Yeah, and taking into account uh, my technical background and my experience in managing my business, I understood that uh, I would be a good IT project manager. So I finished the project management courses uh, in Teach Me Skills. I passed professional scrum master certification. Um, yeah, but uh, I still cannot find a job. And um, yeah, that's why I would like to participate in this program. Yes, I'm actively looking for a job right now, and I'm really hungry for new challenges. So I'm uh, also, I want to add that I'm snowboard lover. I've been snowboarding for eight years already. Also, I love triathlon. I have already done one eight uh, Ironman. And uh, next year, I want to run half uh, Ironman. Yeah. So subscribes to Roman channel and puts likes. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Nikita, for your story. Yep, unfortunately for many Belarusian people now, <laughs> we have the same story that we need to urgently leave uh, our homeland yeah, yeah. Back and find and build our new life. But it is what it is, and yep, I hope that. So one day we can, you know, uh, uh, come back to our country and you know, build beautiful and wonderful Belarus. So, yep, yes, you right. told us very interesting case when you as a <laughs> professional project manager will uh, move into IT sphere and uh, have to change uh, prof project management into IT project management. Okay.
that's interesting. So uh, am I right that you have a real uh, project management uh, education, like a civil developer? Um, not exactly. It was mostly technical education in civil engineering. So. Okay, I, but uh, yeah. you had some disciplines about project management, about management of projects. Uh, yeah, but uh, I only finished uh, project management project management courses when I um, when I like moved to, uh, in Poland in teaching okay. skill. Yeah, but uh, yeah, before starting my business, I didn't have like education in project management. Okay, okay. And uh, okay, one more question about your professional scrum scrum master certification. How it was? It was is it was difficult or it was easy? So yeah, exactly. It, it wasn't so difficult. Yeah, it took uh, for me like about one week for preparation. So um, yeah, just one week, was, and it yeah. will be enough to pass in the. Yeah. Yeah, I passed it uh, for, by um, 97 or 98%. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's a good result. And yep, I can recommend everybody in this uh, group uh, try to study it and pass the exam professional scrum master. It's a really good point to... Uh, better understand Scrum and yep, it's a good achievement for researchers and uh, recruiters too. Okay, thank you, Nikita. Yes, thank you, man. Roman, please turn on Roman, the micro. Muted. Yep. Uh, um, <laughs> once again, I want to talk with myself, so <laughs> yeah, and we have last one, two, three, four candidates. Yep, uh, Denise. Denise. Yeah, that's uh, usually tricky with Thank Russian uh, transcription. Uh, yep, uh, <laughs> because uh, transcription into English from Belarusian language and Giannis uh, in Belarusian. Uh, not so loud and not so you know, beautiful in English, but okay. Denise, hello. Hello. Uh, guys, I want to tell you that you are awesome. Such a good presentation. <laughs> you are yeah. awesome. Uh, firstly, uh, uh, tell me, please, will you share a screen or... No, no, I don't have any presentation. Okay. That's okay. So, can... yep, let's go. Five let's minutes. Go. And greetings, uh, dear colleagues. I'm Janice. I live in Belarus. Uh, at the moment, uh, by education, I engineer chemist technologist. My first experience in management was with my own musical band. Uh, it was a really exciting experience, uh, completely reckless and cheerful, but uh, no less valuable. Uh, after then, uh, any of my work uh, was uh, related uh, to management uh, of people and resources. Um, I have experience in changing areas uh, of expertise, uh, starting from scratch, uh, has never been difficult or intimidating for me. Uh, I always liked uh, to dive into something new. Um, I worked by, uh, sorry, I worked uh, in a specialty. Uh, then I went uh, into sales. Uh, after that, I worked as a production manager. Uh, for heating equipment, uh, and my last job was in construction industry. Uh, I was working as a deputy director uh, in a private construction company for the last, uh, I guess, uh, six years. Uh, it was basically project manager's job. Uh, my 
area of responsibility was to elicit requirements, uh, describe stay into the team, quality control, risk management, customer negotiations, and uh, in general, delivery of the results in time and in budget. And I can mention that uh, I successfully completed over uh, 300 projects uh, during this time. Um, a year ago, I left my job because um, I had different points of view on the situation in Belarus with my boss. Uh, I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, for me, it was great opportunity to enter in the field that I uh, has interested in many years. Uh, many of my friends work in IT, even my wife work in IT. And I decided that um, I take this chance. Uh, honestly, I don't have any experience related to the IT sphere, but I'm constantly learning the ropes of the profession. On November 2021, I successfully completed a uh, course on integrated uh, BA and PM at the Belhart Academy. Um, I'm learning English uh, by my own and my current level, current uh, proficiency level, I believe for B1 plus and my goal is to improve it to B2 by the end of the year. Uh, all my spare time I devote for preparing for the position of project manager. Uh, I try to fill in any blanks of my understanding of my future career uh, and to advance my knowledge. I read books, uh, watch webinars and free courses. And I'm confident that my training and expertise uh, would make me a great candidate for the role of project manager. Um, and I choose the group, this group because um, I can see I'm considering a relocation and I need this opportunity to form an in-depth understanding of the profession and to learn how to better present uh, myself as a specialist. And thank you for your attention. Okay, just in time. It's a really good uh, project manager's skills. So, yep. And uh, Denise, tell me please, uh, what do you do on the right now, like a profession? Uh, do you have any job? Uh, no, at the current moment, I'm unemployed. Okay. okay. Uh, that means that you are completely focused on uh, project management profession? Yes, right? exactly. Okay. That's nice. That's a good point, you know, to achieve the same. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. And now we're going to Asia. Uh, oh, sorry, um, Asia. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> Do you hear sorry. me well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Nice to meet you second time. Um, yeah, by the way, I also uh, run, run uh, half marathon. Guys, uh, I'm on your team. <laughs> Um, yeah, my name is Essie. Uh, someone call me Essie. Um, I'm 23 years old. And um, after school, I understood that the thing that I know better than anything else is English language. So that's why I decided to, uh, to enter university in the Faculty of Foreign Languages. Uh, 
but I needed to uh, provide for myself because I was always an independent person, person uh, child. <laughs> so uh, while studying, I was uh, working as a tutor of English and French languages. And then uh, to get a master's degree, I decided to move to Kyiv and also worked there uh, while studying. Um, although I understood that um, no skills were needed for this job, but uh, except for knowledge of language. Uh, and it wasn't enough for me, I think. Uh, that's why while I was studying there, I visited projects such as Erasmus, maybe someone knows. Uh, it's a non-commercial organization. Uh, thanks to which uh, we have an opportunity to travel much, to, um, to study new cultures. And then uh, for the first time, I realized that I really want to travel much. That is my dream, that it will always was. Um, and uh, when they started to calling me to programs in other countries, um, quarantine began. <laughs> So mm -hmm. uh, that's sad. And I had to return to Crimea, to my family. But, um, but by that time, uh, thanks to these programs, I got involved in IT, uh, studied design software, and started working as a web designer uh, in Crimea. Uh, so I started to work at a marketing agency and uh, we don't uh, have many vacancies in this area in Crimea, uh, so I didn't find it quickly. Um, uh, so I met an application, um, design layouts, uh, dealt with the social networks of our company in this position. Um, and I realized that um, I like coordinating a team and thinking globally and maybe um, managing projects more than uh, designing because I'm more organized than creative, creatively, <laughs> maybe like this. Uh, so it suits me more to um, fulfill all my uh, personal desires. Um, and I really want to become a project manager because I'm communicative. Uh, and I like it. I like to speak to people. I like people. Uh, I read a lot of books of psychology, uh, such as, uh, I don't know, maybe nonviolent uh, communication. And I consider myself a very mm, cheerful person. Um, and uh, then I um, uh, left my company because I understood that I don't see prospects and development for myself there. Uh, plus, I sincerely understand that uh, I want more. Really, I need this uh, feeling that I learn always. Mm. And I really want to move from Crimea. Unfortunately, in common, uh, we have low salaries and there is uh, almost no remote work. And traveling from here is um, inconvenient like this uh, and this is why um, I want to get this chance because I feel that I will succeed <laughs> in this position. Uh, and also I'm not afraid of difficulties. That is, I think, quite important thing. Um, well, mm, I need to tell that I accidentally discovered Roman's uh, channel uh, and started to listen um, all the time of his <laughs> these conversations with people. Um, it was really interesting to me. Uh, and I understood that I need to try this field of IT. Yeah, because I don't want to leave IT uh, sphere. I want to continue developing um, uh, in as a project manager, as I said. So. I hope that my skills from previous work will help me to graduate better project manager than it is. I'm sorry, I'm a little so, bit nervous. <laughs> everything fine. Uh, yeah, definitely, girls have more skills in languages. <laughs> I uh, completely understand that uh, right now. 
So thank you, Asiya. Uh, it's, it's a nice story. Uh, yep. I'm sure that everything will be as you dreamed. So, yep, just uh, never give up. And, you know, you need to go through this pass. And, yep, stay calm. Thank you very much, Roman. Uh, and, yep, I must share that uh, poster will create it by Asiya. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. It was my pleasure. But I think that Artyom uh, would do it better than me <laughs> because he is the most creative part of our team. <laughs> I think so. Yep. We will give him opportunity, you know, to, <laughs> yeah. to prove it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, number... 13 that's a really good number you know uh, i was born 13 in 13 <laughs> so yep uh, uh, but okay denise uh, tell me please will you share your screen i uh, know i haven't got any presentation okay i will share I mine tell you with everyone i hope that this number will help me so glad to see uh, so many attractive and active people in one place uh, that's so motivated. So, my name is Denis Kokarev. I'm 25 years old and being a teenager, I made a mistake choosing oil and gas industry. I finished bachelor and master's degrees in engineering mechanics and got a job as a field engineer in hydraulic fracturing. One month, I was studying at university Next, I was waiting to Yamal, and together with the team consists of 25 men and 20 specialized trucks, we were riding the field from one well to another. I got a great experience in communication, grew up, became more serious, responsible, got skills in adaptation. I started to know the industry from inside, saw the negative impact to the environment, conservative managing system, a root attitude to employees, and many other things. With all this, my friends working in IT told me an attractive stories about friendly corporate ethics, support, and helpful company mission. All this, at this moment, I realized that at school I've made a wrong decision and choose the wrong university. But I didn't know what to do. Uh, that's why I continued my studying and working. Because of my hard work and I had no problems with my chiefs and they promoted me to lead engineer. It's something between project manager and team lead. I manage a team consists of five, from five to eight men and lead the project from engineering side. Uh, and uh, help with financial closure of uh, completed work. Uh, as for current work, administrative tasks respond to me rather than engineering one. I like to work with team and customers, optimize work processes. Despite the fact that I work remotely, I sometimes I go to fields uh, to help and teach my engineers. I like to share my knowledge and be helpful. Working in contracting organization with incoming tasks that had a deadline yesterday helped me develop high stress resistance and high pace of work. I'm grateful for my company for this difficult experience. Maybe a month ago, my best friend who's working in a game dev company said that they are looking for a project manager and uh, that I could handle it. Uh, it was inspired because I love games, it's my passion, but I always control myself because I can't play for hours. Uh, I started studying the topic, so the advantages of working in IT, uh, but the more I studied, the more clearly I realized that it wouldn't be possible uh, to simply get this position. Despite the fact that I work in oil and gas industry, uh, it wasn't the specialization I studied for. Uh, so I learned it by, my side, by myself. 
that's why I understand how mentor can help to form a fundamental base for further self-development. Uh, I see a great opportunity in this project and I really want to take advantage of it. Um, a little about why I choose the international group. I like to travel and explore new cultures. I want uh, to take experience uh, at living in another country and uh, I don't want to pay taxes to Russian Federation. Thank you for attention, that's all. Thank you, Denise. Uh, thank you for your story. And that's a pity that one more engineer uh, decided to become a project manager and uh, yep, uh, leave his uh, profession. I always um, pity when I hear that you know, doctors, engineers, and uh, other cool professions, people um, urgently decided to change the profession because, you know, all this situation, environment, and uh, maybe unaffordable conditions in uh, in their own country. Yep, now IT is like a piece of fresh, uh, maybe a piece of fresh eye that uh, give you opportunity to feel free in this time. Yep, but uh, tell me please, uh, tell me please, um, what do you think uh, the most difficult in the profession IT project manager? Mm. I think there are lots of different uh, hard tasks. Um, you, um, you like a support. Uh, you should uh, work with, with your team and um, be sure that uh, everyone uh, feel comfortable in your company and you should help everyone with that. Uh, uh, you should have a lot of hard skills uh, in management that probably I haven't got. And I think that will be the hardest part of my uh, learning. Okay, I get you. Okay, thank you one more time, Denise, for you and for your position, especially. Uh, yep, and the last one, but uh, not the last of interest. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, Nikolai, number 14. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, everybody. Do you hear me well? Yeah, we are here well. Uh, Nikolai, hello. Uh, yes, well, hello one more time. Uh, first of all, I probably would like to uh, say many thanks uh, to not only to organizers, of course, to organize special thanks, but to all the members, because I think we are doing uh, nice and uh, great uh, things, because it's uh, quite an unusual project and quite unusual for me. So uh, in any case, I see many, many uh, strong persons, uh, strong professionals, and it uh, will not be a pity for me to lose uh, this opportunity. But in any case, I hope that I will uh, be one uh, who will continue uh, this course. So a uh, couple words about me. Uh, so I'm actually a Belarusian man who, uh, within last uh, one year, have to move to twice uh, from uh, different countries. First of all, uh, one year ago, I moved from uh, Belarus to Ukraine. I moved to Kiev, and it was hard to uh, accommodate there for because I came with my family, uh, with wife and two kids. And in February, I had to move to Poland. So now uh, I moved from here to Opole. It's a small city uh, somewhere in Poland. Uh, maybe somebody here did. Uh, so it's uh, really much more smaller than Minsk and, of course, much smaller than Kiev. But I like it. But I, I like it. So a few words about me. Uh, I, I will uh, tell a bit about my uh, strengths and weaknesses. So uh, I would say that I'm a good planner and I'm a good organizer. 
uh, during my life, I had uh, I have done many big and small projects, uh, and actually, I like to manage processes and I make everything like it should be done. And uh, I'm very attentive to details. I'm a good communicator and I'm a good uh, negotiator. Uh, I like to come to agreements. I like to understand other people. I and I like to understand people' needs. Maybe uh, that's why I think that I will be a good project manager. I'm a team player. And uh, I really like to work with people. Uh, I like to inspire people. And uh, I like to inspire people to new achievements. Actually, I'm a very positive person. Uh, I can be energetic uh, all day long. And I can cheer others. I also like uh, to make public speeches. I like to communicate with the audience. And I like to work with people's attention. I also had some weaknesses, so I actually I think I'm lacking of English now. I, I didn't use it for some years, and uh, now I'm working also in this direction to improve my English skills. Uh, another my weakness is that uh, sometimes I'm too I have too much attention to small details, even not so important ones. Uh, so I'm working in this direction, and also I'm an old person. Uh, so I, it's hard for me to work uh, hard in the early morning, uh, but uh, I really uh, energetic in the evening. So sometimes it's hard for me to stop at the end of the day. Also, I'm a crypto enthusiast and I'm a good chess player and I'm a politically active guy. Uh, coming to my political, uh, to my professional skills. So last three years, I worked as a business development manager. I worked uh, as a business development manager both in Belarus and uh, then in Ukraine. Now I decided to switch my profession. And uh, I also worked as an entrepreneur. I had an online education course about crypto. And in, in Ukraine, I organized it in Ukraine. Uh, it's actually a course about the basics of uh, crypto and about rules and about risks and about some instruments. And also, I, I had an online store as an entrepreneur in Belarus. Uh, I had an online store uh, for two years, and I actually sold it, and it still works. It still works. Uh, and uh, I also had uh, much more experience because I'm 38 years old, but it's not so relevant, I would say. Uh, it's more connected with sales process. And uh, I actually can mention uh, three uh, my non profit projects. Actually, uh, I mentioned that I had uh, several uh, projects that I lead. I organize uh, study visits uh, for Belarusian uh, youth uh, to Denmark. Uh, I organize four trips for uh, actually uh, for 20 persons for each trip. Uh, it was trips for two weeks uh, with free education, accommodation and transportation. I also organized uh, educational summer camps in Belarus. Uh, it was uh, twice. Uh, it was like one week education for around 100 people. Also, I participated and I actually led it uh, on one district in Belarus election observation in parliament election. So it was a long time ago, but it happened so. And I also uh, have two business projects, as I mentioned. So I had an online store and I have courses about crypto. So, and actually nowadays I'm quite good in uh, projects which connected uh, with relocation from one country to another. Uh, did my time already passed or I see five zero? Yeah, it, it, it is. Yep. Okay, so uh, actually uh, I will just add that uh, why I'm interested here in, um, in the education with uh, Roman and um, Andre. Uh, because uh, I think that I have enough uh, soft skills, but I'm really lack of hard skills and really lack of uh, some practice. Uh, I have a lot of knowledge. I mean, I'm studying uh, courses, but uh, I think the, it's some gap between like uh, real practice and uh, like theoretical knowledge. I hope that uh, with uh, this education program, I can. Uh, just uh, pass through this gap, and uh, I can then find a good proposal, good uh, proposal uh, from IT project management. Thank okay. you, guys, for attention. Yes. Thank, thank, thank you, Nikolai. Really interesting story, and 
uh, maybe not so pleasant story. I, I just can imagine uh, how it difficult uh, moving twice with uh, two kids. I have three. <laughs> yep, so I understand you very good. It could be much harder with three <laughs> because the uh, car is small. <laughs> yep. Um, we have to move uh, from Belarus when my uh, youngest daughter, she was just two months. Yep, it, uh, yep, it was a little tricky, but uh, yep. Okay, so the thank you, Nikolai. It's really nice and good story. I really appreciate for you sharing it with us. And uh, yep, uh, tell me please just one one more thing. What are your expectation about this, you know, program? Uh, I understand that everybody tried to find any ways and any enters uh, in IT, but what uh, your exp your uh, expectations personally? So first of all, I I hope that we will have a good teamwork. So I think it's more important, like when everybody inspiring each other, so then we can work directly with uh, concrete aim. So uh, and I expect uh, like uh, good uh, teamwork. I do not expect that uh, like Raman or others will uh, make us a job offer or make me job offer. I'm pretty sure that uh, I am responsible for that. Uh, but uh, I think the most important thing is that we will work together so that we will be open-minded and uh, as me as well. So that is the main thing that I expect. Cool. Cool, yep. That's uh, you know, similar with, with mine uh, because, yep, everybody has to understand that this is a really hard uh, way. Uh, this is a really hard uh, path and uh, everything will be depends on you. So on your activity, on your motivation, and uh, on your maybe patient, because uh, nowadays you're not so you know, um, uh, convenient <laughs> environment around us, and uh, everybody have to you know be strong and be uh, purposeful. So yep, Nikolai was uh, the last one, and. Now, now we can go next. And yep. Andrew, are you here? Yep, I'm here. Super. Uh, today <laughs> we, we, don't, we didn't see hear you. Um, so yep, tell us some you know words about candidates and about uh, everything that uh, was. Okay, you know that. Uh kind of candidate is much harder to understand that they want to tell as well, but they try it a lot, I guess. Uh, everyone wants to join this party, but it's hard, of course, because it's in English, but uh, the words, uh, I guess, come true in a few months and they will pass their first like interview there and have their first job offers. Um, exactly, you mentioned that the girls no new English well than the voice that's uh, quite good but when I just start heard that Nikolai that was really great uh, it just uh, came into the situation and really understand the whole problem that came from the past so uh, I get that uh, now that is all that I want to mention and so I want to wish a good luck for everyone yep Thank you, Andrew. And yep, uh, from my own, I want to admire that uh, every every guys and every girls who came to this uh, meeting uh, have already did a good job. And I understand that for many for many of us, this was really um, scary uh, to try and speak in English. Or well, as I mentioned previously. Uh, my English is not so you know, great. Uh, I could understand it too. So it's my first uh, public experience in you know held in a meeting in English. So I am a little nervous too. But I think it's okay. It's uh, uh, the most important thing if you, we can understand each other and you know define clear our minds. So yep. Um, now uh, I suggest to move next and. 
Let's start. Move. But Roman, I'm so sorry. Roman and the Nikolai want to make some speech as you as well. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, guys, sorry, but uh, I saw the uh, internet translation. Uh, unfortunately, my presentation was not seen. Uh, uh, it's a big problem because I I was sure that uh, everybody see because I spoke very uh, slow uh, and uh, my presentation uh, must uh, un to, to, to explain all and the, if you don't uh, see anything can i uh, show you presentation without my word one more time uh, just for two minutes without uh, word because now but nobody will no, nobody seen it okay uh, i guess you know guys no, no nobody told me that my page is not changed Yep, uh, you know, actually, I I, I saw it, but uh, um, <laughs> uh, I try but to avoid it's, to interrupt. It's, it's, it's little, it's little bit stranger that uh, in in the left part you you can see the the list of pages, and I <laughs> I speak about only on the first. Okay, guys, uh, uh, I you know suggest to give opportunity for Roman uh, share his presentation one more time. If nobody only presentation, I I will not say the words. Okay, you can I mean, say it, the words. It, 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 will be, it, it will be honest. Thing. Honest. Okay, okay, Roman. Uh, of course. So we are, you know, really friendly team. We're not uh, competitors here. So of course uh, we give you this opportunity. So yep, please share your screen. Okay. If uh, something will go wrong, please tell me. Okay. Okay. Now it's you. You 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 have seen uh, for now the second pages. Yep. But you need to you know uh, change the slides. Yes. This... Okay, uh, Roman. This, this uh, is second. Yeah, just a second. So if it, it, it it's just five minutes. Yep. So you can uh, briefly. Uh, Okay. You can briefly discuss or describe uh, what's mentioned in these uh, slides. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, once again, I'm Roman Zuchkov. I have a big experience in uh, in, the, in the business, um, and uh, it's as my. Uh, <clears throat> Relevant experience is uh, course of PMG brains uh, My career is uh, big. Uh, I do, we have a big uh, company to for, for products delivers installation, repair of pump and related equipment. This, is, this uh, page is about the main in uh, our teams. It's a uh, persons. Person is the main thing in each uh, business and uh, in each project. As to relocation, uh, sorry, uh, in, in this year I had to relocate. Uh, it's uh, um, to change the job, to change the country, to change language, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It was a huge, uh, big problem. To uh, maybe next, uh, I explain to you all uh, relocation advantages. And, uh, also, I'm a volunteer here in Krakow. Uh, we have a self-organized team, like in Scrum, self-organized. It's really uh, like this because we have no real uh, leaders. We have no legal status. Uh, it's absolutely different 16 people from other country. Uh, and each person uh, who we help are, it's a real project. And it's, all uh, plan must be in your head, like, like a Kanban dashboard. And my family is also project, in my opinion. Uh, 
So now we here uh, we are here. We a lot of things we made together. Um, you can read it uh, in a brief. Uh, um, even now we uh, participate in program in Krakow, uh, Krakow Screen Balcony. Uh, the first experience in my life to to grow the plants and flowers on my balcony. Okay. Why I need? Um, I, I I really need this job because I have a big motivation. Uh, in case of three children, I'm really interested in the knowledge, understand why I need it. I'm sure I will succeed. And about PM, a couple of words. That's, that's all. Thank you for the opportunity to show me this again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now it's uh, fair. Yep. Uh, okay. Thank you, Roman, once again. So, yep, guys, maybe someone wants to tell us something before we go into to voting. Uh, I had a question. Uh, like, uh, as I understand, we, we have uh, five vo votes. And uh, uh, can we vote for ourselves or not? Uh, it's not a good idea <laughs> to vote by ourselves. Yep, so the main, the main maybe idea that you have uh, five votes, uh, like opportunity to choose with whom you will uh, go through this uh, program. Yep, and then we will, you know, uh, calculate all the votes and uh, top numbers uh, and the candidates with the uh, highest number of uh, votes will be automatically participants. And then uh, I and Andrew have the opportunity to add uh, one uh, candidate by our own. Okay, thank you. Yep, uh, Ismail, you have a question. Uh, yes, uh, hello, one more time, Chloe. I just wanted to add that I will share the screen and uh, uh, the microphone and screen was the one, one device and my uh, camera was this on the second device and Zoop doesn't understand that is I'm the same person and uh, there was no video, so I, I'm so sorry about it. Oh, don't worry. Uh, you can see all the viewers can see now say hello, hello to the all. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Ismail. Yep. Everybody can hear, uh, hear and uh, see you. Okay, guys, so, yep, we are um, almost two hours online. So, yep, going next. And I hope that will be funny, interesting, and uh, without any technical issues as our previous meeting. Uh, okay, voting, five votes, uh, two minutes or more. If you two minutes will be enough. Okay. Let's do three minutes. Yep. Here. Uh... Roman, uh, would you like to share the screen or not? Oh, so sorry, guys. I forgot that I <laughs> uh, stopped sharing. Yep. Now it's now it's must be online. Okay. Do you see my screen? Yep. Cool. Yes. Uh, sticky notes. Let me check. Yep. Uh, I will. I will check. Maybe like that. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yep, seems fine. Uh, and yep, I will start in the voting, and during the voting, I will play in some music for you. Yep. Check, please, if all candidates have a uh, button. Mm -hmm. 
my votes uh, Andrew maybe you too okay noted okay guys I ask you um, you know to mention it in any way in in the chat if you finish voting just uh, leave plus maybe okay But uh, we still uh, didn't have a uh, one can one one voters. Yep. But okay. Let's see the result. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, Roman. Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, mm. I cannot vote. Yeah, I don't know what's happened. Yeah, maybe I I can wrote yeah to Andre my words. Uh, yeah. Okay, Nikita, you can just uh, write your uh, candidates to Andrew, and Andrew will <laughs> repeat his yesterday exercise. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for that. Don't worry. But let's uh, check what we get, what we got. Uh, what we have. Uh -huh. Artyom, your presentation was uh, killing. <laughs> yep. Kate, you too. Uh, uh, Oksana, Yuri. Your experience with Toyota <laughs> made, <laughs> made yep, the deal. Okay, uh, let me check. 9988565 eight, five, six, five, uh -huh, six. Uh, Nikolai. Yep. 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 Let's check the last results. Maybe something changed. Yep. Andrew, yep, that's all. I'm yep. done. I'm done. Okay. Uh, let's have a look once again. Uh, Artyom had 10 votes. Mm, Kate had 
10 votes. Yep, Yuri had nine. Uh, Oksana had eight and Nikolai had seven. That's all. Yep, plus Raman had six. Yep. Uh, okay, now our turn, uh, Andrew, make your choice, please. I'm re literally disappointed with such situation because <laughs> I want to choose another one person who just jumped into the program. Uh, but let me guess, uh, this time, this day, uh, Yesterday, I choose to the <laughs> maybe the one of the greatest candidates that we can imagine. So maybe we can just try it once again. Every group should have a, such a leader. So uh, I want to mention that today uh, I'm going to vote for the Alexei. <laughs> okay. It's your choice. Um, yep, thank you, Andrew. But now I'm in a really hard situation because so many good candidates and it's really very hard to choose. Uh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Mm. Hear your heart. Yeah, give me, give me, please, a few moments, few minutes. Uh, yep. Oksana, Kate, Yuri, Nikolai, Alexey, Artyom, already. Have already choose. Mm. You know, I really like everybody. Every person have their own personal story, and uh, I one hundred percent sure that everybody can you know be a good project manager in the future. But yep, I need to choose. And okay, I will choose. I see you. Um, yep, according to my own personal reasons, and yet, of course, uh, according to your help uh, with this poster, so I see it's uh, my choice. But um, that's my game, that's my rule. <laughs> so I will choose one more guy too. Uh, <laughs> I will explain because you know, uh, in the previous group, uh, we have. We have uh, eight participants uh, because it was, you know, similar voting. Uh, they have similar votes. And yep, let me see, guys. Mm. God bless you. <laughs> Yeah, but this is a tr this is a tricky, really tricky because I don't want to you know hurt anybody, and yep, um, I will choose I will choose Nikolai. I think yep, I like his story. Um, uh, and just he, you know smile a lot and i think it's a really <laughs> a good point of view so yep i think uh, we will finish on that and let's see let's see once again uh, artyom Aksana, kate yuri alexey nikolai asia and nikita nikita so thank you guys and yep uh, sorry for others. Uh, um, you know, you know um, I every time feel not so good when <laughs> I have to make some 
kind of choose, but yep, it's uh, real life. And uh, um, anyway, uh, you will go next uh, without any, you know, borders and without any uh, limitations. Everything will depend on you. And everything that we will you know, uh, study, learn, talking about, we will uh, stream on YouTube. And you will have all opportunities to, you know, be be in touch. And of course, uh, I will provide you my own personal help if it will be needed for you. So feel free to text and chat with me. Uh, and yep, maybe somebody want to tell, say something. My I yes. Uh, Constantine was the first person, so I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for chance and um, I understand what I need to learn. And uh, good luck for everybody, and uh, it will be very fun for you. Thank you. Thank you, Constantine. I think your uh, alcohol experience <laughs> give you. Uh, a lot of opportunity in IT sphere because you know IT sphere is a, a lot of stress and stressful sphere. So your experience and your background in this field uh, will be a very important and necessary skill in any <laughs> uh, IT uh, team. So good luck too. Thank you for your participating here. Um, who will be next? I see. May I please? Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I was almost crying. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, oh my God, it is not me. Thank you very much. I will try my best. And everyone, thank you for your uh, stories. I think if everyone, not only um, the one who was um, the ones, uh, but everyone are great professionals in their fields. And I really, uh, I'm motivated by all of you. Thank you very much for this evening. <laughs> Thank you, Asia. Thank you. I think uh, now we have uh, a good internet connection. Uh, I want to tell uh, you thank you and dear man. Thank you guys for your votes. Uh, I hope you, uh, everyone become a perfect uh, project manager. Uh, it's my... Uh, I don't know how to say in English, uh, and um, I hope everyone become a good project manager. I wish everyone good luck and see you in YouTube in uh, our streams. Thank you, Kate. Yep. That was extremely scary situation that you texted me today in the morning. So I'm really glad that everything fine and uh, Yep. And I'm really glad that you are here and you <laughs> have the opportunity to, you know, take part in this meeting. Yep. Uh, who will be next? Alexey, I think. Yep. Alexey, your turn. Oh, guys, it was hot. I was really nervous. And thank you, Andrew. Thank you so much. You, you are my saver. You are my angel. I'll promise I will keep my uh, activity in all groups. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, thank you, Alexey. Uh, Artyom, uh, you are yeah. best of the best of the best of uh, our today's meetings. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm very surprised uh, that, there, that there are so many boys for me. Mm, and I'm really uh, very happy. Uh, thanks, everybody. Well, good luck. Yep. Thank you, Artyom. Yep. Uh, I repeat it once again. Your presentation was brilliant, really. Uh, okay. Um, Nikita. Yes. Thanks, Roman, uh, once again. Yeah. And uh, I would like to remind you to uh, subscribe on Raman channel and uh, put uh, likes. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you. And Aksana. Um, thanks, guys, for your votes. 
and thanks for this amazing evening and thanks to Roman and for this amazing opportunity again to be part of this program and I really wish um, good luck to people that were not chosen and I wish them to see this um, opportunity as uh, how to say it's like to find this conversation and the opportunity to find you know points for growth so good luck and uh, i think that everything will be okay and you will be great project managers in the future and um, of course um i waiting to collaborate with the other par uh, participants of the program okay thank you Exana. and anybody want to say something okay so thank you guys thank you girls it was really uh, interesting i very honest now and yep um, uh, tomorrow we will start our program i hope it will be really useful interesting and uh, that's really can you know give you opportunity to find your uh, entering in IT to find your first offer, but I can't guarantee it. Yep. Everybody have to understand it. And yep, I one more time, <laughs> I will I will mention it one more time that yep, uh, everyone, everybody and everyone and everything will uh, depends on yourself. Yep. Uh, okay, Andrew, you want to add something? Uh, yeah, we had a question just from our chat. Oh, good about that. Yep. So, Roman, will uh, English group all time be in English, um, including lessons? Yeah, that uh, can be a little tricky, and uh, I think we don't have so many time, to, you know, to go uh, parallel ways in any groups. So, I think we will mostly time uh, combine uh, all groups and we will uh, speak in russian but uh, in our chat we will uh, save our english uh, you know community <laughs> english club so a little english club to give opportunity to have uh, some more uh, english practice and uh, one more um, thing i think that we will have um, i will ask you to make your homework in english too so to give you opportunity to you know practice your english and for russian group it will be in uh, russian for uh, english group it will be in english so i think something like that but uh, um in the future uh, maybe uh, several meetings can be um, different because uh, when we will uh, try to you know, understand how international market and international uh, recruiters work, works, then we will you know, separate our groups and uh, make different streams, maybe something like that. Okay, I guess that's all of the questions that we need to answer. Okay, yeah, that was hard. That was hard in English too. So, you know, <laughs> uh, a little tired too, yep. Uh, so thank you one more time guys and uh, see you tomorrow bye 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 see you bye bye bye, bye, -bye. good evening <laughs>